Houston is one city very closely aligned with the oil and gas industry. When oil is up, they call this place Hustle Town. Welcome to Commodities Energy Lifestyle, the energy capital of the world, Houston, Texas. Every time we get together, we, I think, uh, we make the world wake up eventually. The Houston actually isn't a one horse hick town. Houston is a place with real, real people. In, in talking to individuals who've seen ups and downs of Houston, ups and downs with oil and gas, how's that affected your business? Well, it's, basically it's destroyed my business. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's gone up. You can't keep control of anything. Trying to get people to come down, it's just impossible now with the cost of gasoline and cost of parking and it's it, it's slowly deteriorating that's not quite the answer i was expecting <laughs> i thought yeah. perhaps with everybody here making more money in oil and gas you'd see some of that 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 oil flow that would only work if my clients were the ones who own it <laughs> mine are the ones you know that just spend it, you know, the higher prices in the groceries and the higher prices, it's those necessities are just going up, 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 you know, where things like me, where they're secondary, I'm easy to cancel or put back. You, well, you, you're leveraging two businesses, Dukes of Hollywood, Taylor's Night, Daytime, Char Bar at Nighttime. Give us a little history. Well, I mean, the Taylor Shot's been here 73 years, since 1936. My grandfather started it. And six years ago, I added the bar to try to enhance the income out of the building. But with the non-smoking law that they put in last year, and now this you know, price of gas, even the bar's starting to suffer real bad. So, But we'll just stick it out as long as we can. Good insight from Mike Shapiro. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, well, now, you will probably shine some boots with some big shots in this town. I shine shoes for some of the biggest and for some of the smallest. <laughs> I shine shoes for a living. And I tell you what, no matter how big or how small, Green is always making the common denominator. The private army don't affect me. No, so I've got lawyers and doctors and police for the family and people that wear uniforms and want to look nice. People like myself, fine, upstanding, hardworking man like you. We don't worry about the private army. But it is affecting us all around us. Well, the little people can't become up. The rich people can stay, it don't affect them. But the little people that minimum wages, hard, the hard, minimum wages don't go up as fast as the price of oil. So it's really not nothing good coming out of the price of oil going up. But as far as um, how it's affecting this particular establishment, we can talk about that. You know, it's affecting everybody different. But like I said earlier, not so much money, but everybody I deal with are the people with the money. <laughs> Every time we get together, we, I think, uh, will make the world wake up eventually that Houston actually isn't a one-horse hick town. Houston is a place with real, real people.